today. First topic, Michael Jordan's documentary is coming out. And it is it is it a Michael Jordan documentary or is it yes. a documentary of the Bulls? Nope. Okay, so this is Michael Jordan, and it is called The Last Dance. It is Sunday night. They're doing a clean version on ESPN2. They're doing a version with all the naughty words and whatnot, not bleeped out, over on ESPN. I cannot wait. Jordan has already come out and said he thinks that people are going to hate him after seeing this documentary. They think they're going to think he's an awful person. I look at things a little bit differently. I look at it as, you're a winner. We don't really care what type of person you are. Everybody is still going to love you. I don't think you, it's going to you change. You don't care. You don't care. A lot of people do. How many people jumped off the Tiger Woods train when he was screwing around his wife and all that stuff came out? Yeah, but it, do you now, think this is going to show? But it took him a decade to come back. You think this is going to show anything like that? Like, it, you know, cheating on your wife mm -hmm. and stuff is one thing. Uh, How's it any different? It's his personal. It's just the way he, if he's an asshole, people will judge him for that. Maybe so. I just, I don't think it's going to be nearly no, we the type of. We live in a of... world where everybody's soft, man. People, <laughs> people are thin skinned and they want, here's the problem, Gary. We want to be pissed off about things. And True. right now, the only thing we have to be pissed off about is politics. So this gives them something to be pissed off about. Yeah, but I feel like the majority of people already know these stories. They already know that he punched Steve Kerr in the mouth. They already know that he was a jerk to I, his teammates. I, like, I disagree that the majority of people know these things. Maybe maybe the majority of like... I think you way overestimate the fact of what people know about Jordan. Yeah, yeah maybe maybe so. Maybe so. Matt jumped in. He said, sup. He said, uh, hit X to lie. Uh, Cartman to Kyle. So, <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I I just I feel maybe I'm maybe I'm completely wrong. I just I feel like people already know that Jordan is a jerk, and and I don't think they're going to judge him any more harshly for this. Uh, now I could be completely wrong. And I just don't think people know him at all. Maybe at not. All. That's a, yeah. Matt said it's a South Parker. Hey, yeah, I know, I know the South Park. I know, I know who Cartman is. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I'm I am looking really forward to this though. Uh, I, with no live sports, anything like that, this is something to really look forward to. I think the ratings are going to be massive. Uh, are, are you looking forward to this at all? Um, I'm looking forward to it just because we grew up in an era idolizing Jordan and, and loving him the way we did. But I don't, I don't think, um, I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm interested in it. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. That is what I'm How talking about. How many part series is this? It's not just a one night thing. No, right? it's like it's like ten parts. Uh, Matt yes, said it's it's that's better what I than. Thought. Are they going to release one a day or is it every Sunday for a week? They're doing two on Sunday, and I, it may be for a week. I think they're releasing like two every weekend or something. I I think that's what it, I I don't know for certain. I'll try and find that. But uh, but yeah, that's that's their plan right now. Is um, they're releasing two of them like the first part and the second part on Sunday night, and then they go from there. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think the the ratings are going to be insane. Matt said it's better than replaying old games or simulations of games. Oh, yeah, no, documentaries, yeah. well-done documentaries are great. ESPN has been known for doing great documentaries. They do them well. Um, it's going to be it's gonna be good. Yeah. I think it's going to be really good. I, uh, I think so as well. I uh, all of their 30 for 30 stuff has been fantastic. So, you know, I do think... Well, but even when they did, like, the OJ doc, that was awesome, too. I mean, they, they're really good at this. It's uh, it's every Sunday. Okay, so, so every Sunday they're going to release either an episode or two episodes. They're doing two episodes every oh, That's every going to be annoying. Yep, two episodes. So episode one and We episode live in a two. world where everybody's stuck at home and we binge everything. And now it is, you know, do, drop an episode a day. If they dropped an episode a day every day for ten days straight, it'd be awesome. They're uh, let's see here. Here's how they're doing it. Uh, Nine p.m. Eastern, they do episode one, <clears> and then <throat> ten is episode two. The next week, they do episode one, episode two, episode three, episode four. Uh, the new ones are always going to come out at nine p.m. Eastern on Sundays, uh, but they are going to play four episodes. Um, Matt jumps in. He said, "Gets people talking about sports. People are tired of politics." Like Chris said, "Look at the new shows that come out, like Tiger King." Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, Tiger King, though, you could binge it really quick and, and be done with it in less than a week, you know, and then it just... And then you got to spend, like, three months of your life hating yourself. 
that's, hoping that's true. Wanting to wanting to self mutilate and kick your own ass. You uh, you've got that right. 